Good morning. So today we are going to try to prove that we're on Earth. With all the conspiracy theories going around, um, how do you know? Uh, Rockland could have been moved to, I don't know, Mars, Venus, some alternate dimension. Uh, actually, that kind of feels right. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an alternate, alternate dimension sometimes. So um, what we're going to do in order to prove this is we're going to do a version of our spinning mass. So I'm going to spin this. This is um, a known of 0.2 kilograms. This distance here, this length, is a known of 0.5 meters. You've got the information right here, 0.5 meters is the length of the string. 0.2 kilograms is the, is the mass at the end of the string. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to spin it, rotate it consistently so that um, you can videotape it. Well, obviously it's videotaping here, but you can look at the video and you can get some information from the video itself. Um, let's see. Um, if it, think about this when you're watching this. If it was on Jupiter or the moon or Mars or Earth, how would this exact same experiment look different? What would happen? So here we go. I'm going to try to see if I can spin this at a consistent rate. Um, and then once I get a consistent rate, man, you can do something with it. Okay. So um, when I turn my head, I'm, you might not be able to hear me so well. So. Anyways, so if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. All right, without hitting myself, I'm going to try to get this up to speed. It's a pretty consistent rate right there. That's a pretty consistent rate. And I'll do that for a little bit. And okay, that's probably enough as I let go. It will slow down a little bit. Although it's got pretty good um, rotational inertia and it has uh, a pretty low amount, a relatively <laughs> low amount. Oh, it hit me in the back. <laughs> so it's going to kind of go off filter a little bit, which is not good. Anyways, once again, try to think about how that would be different if you're on a different planet with different gravity and then that will lead you to the idea of how we can prove that we're on earth so um go for it and have a little fun with it and hopefully you learn something by it <laughs>